Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video, we'll look at the basic structure or anatomy of your nautical or electronic chart. You can use these sailing tips to master the art of safer navigation wherever you sail or cruise. On this chart of Martha's Vineyard, we'll look at five vital chart parts, and these will be the title block, the chart addition and correction information, chart insets, chart source data, and chart notes. Title blocks show the region of the world, subregion, projection, scale, and datum. Here our region of the world will be the United States East Coast and the subregion will be Massachusetts, Martha's Vineyard. This chart uses a Mercator projection on a scale of 1 to 40,000 and right away we can tell this scale will be ideal for close coastal inland navigation. Landmarks, aids to navigation, soundings, and dangers will appear in great detail to make approaches to anchorages or harbors easy day or night. The NAD 1983 WGS 1984 should be matched to your GPS receiver settings. Check your user manual and make sure that your GPS has been set up to match this information. Soundings and tidal information are shown next and here we see on this chart our soundings are in feet at mean lower low water. Other charts may show soundings in fathoms or meters. Tidal datum on international charts often uses the more conservative lowest astronomical tides called LAT. Some charts use mean sea level. Always check your chart datum before you start to navigate on any chart. Look in the lower left corner of your chart for the chart number, addition, addition date, and chart correction data. Here you see our chart of Martha's Vineyard is 13233, the 19th edition, and was issued in January of 2011. The last notice to Marin's correction was on March 23, 2018, but cartographers or chart makers have also checked other notices to Mariners ahead of the last correction, so this specific chart has been checked or cleared through Coast Guard Local Notice 1218, Weekly Notice to Mariners 1318, and the Canadian Hydrographic Service Notice 0218. Manipsha Pond on the western side of Martha's Vineyard will provide good protection when anchoring or mooring. But even on this 1 to 40,000 scale chart, safe entry would be quite dangerous without more detail. The cartographers have printed a 1 to 20,000 scale inset that shows a dredged entrance channel to the anchor basin, and a note tells you the depths are 10 feet inside the channel to the 80 foot wide anchor basin, and you could continue to numb buoy number 4 in depths of 8 feet. Note the linear scale that's been added to help you measure distances on the inset. You'll want to know how recent the sounding surveys were made in the area you sail or cruise. Turn to the source diagrams to find this information. The northern approaches to Martha's Vineyard were last surveyed in 2014 with full bottom coverage, but note the eastern and southern sides show much older surveys, some going back as far as pre-1900. Use the source data to help you choose the safe side of landfall or approaches to an island or headland. Chart notes may be found in the white margins or printed onto the non-navigable land portions of your chart. Scan the notes for height data, title information, dangers, and warnings. Here you can see that our heights on this chart are in feet above mean high water. Tides in the area show ranges just over three feet, and you may encounter strong currents when navigating in Nantucket Sound. Use this information to make safer passages. Follow these five easy navigation tips when sailing or cruising this season. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.